Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Lawrence. You got my response. I told Miss Jaylee oh, to yeah. tell you too, just in case. Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs>
Good morning, pharmacy. Cameras on. If you could, please. Some of you are sick. Messaged me, so I do understand. Um, we're not yet. We're over the hump, but not quite. There's still people who are getting the virus. So stay safe. Continue to stay safe. I won't make any announcements, but as a reminder, the campus is going to be closed on Monday. Okay, so in observance of 4th of July, I might have to repeat that information because Omar is coming in. Okay, perfect. I can see you all now. Um, Noah's under the weather. Noah, I hope you feel better soon. Um, like what I said, Omar, if you didn't hear me, I think he's still, okay, he's still connecting. Let's wait. Omar, can you hear me now? Nicole's coming in. Nicole, you ready? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Omar, you ready? Can you hear me? It's frozen on my end. Everybody's frozen. Yes, no. Can you guys hear me? Yes, no. Some of you are frozen. I don't know if it's. Wi Fi. One more time. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Some of you are frozen, so I don't know if it's on my end or Nicole just came in, Noah got kicked out. So I really don't know if it's on my end or the students end when you're frozen. So you gotta let me know. Okay, good morning again. It's <clears throat> hump day, but it's the beginning of week two. If you notice, your week two folder access has been open. Okay, and even if Miss Jaylene is not here and she started a class, when somebody substitute, we try to keep the lesson plan. Okay, so we are going to continue with what is in the lesson plan as per her announcement. It's just a different phase, a different instructor, but we will continue. and. Omar, Noah, can you hear me? Nicole wasn't here when I reminded you guys that the campus is closed on the 5th in observance of the 4th of July, okay? So no school, no Zoom. That's why let me remind you that on Friday, you will go live at 9, okay? Friday live at 9 since the 9 to 10 is your drug words presentation. And the 10 to 11 is your computer apps. 11 to 12 is your chemistry. That clear? Yes. Everybody made it to the campus yesterday? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's start off with our typing tests. 
as per Ms. Jaylene's schedule. Let's go to typingtest.com and let's see how much you've improved from the last time you did typing test. And yesterday you encoded some prescriptions at the lab, correct? Okay. So freshman, it's only Omar now. Who's actually a freshman? Now, are you able to do the typing test? Because Ms. Jalen counts this as quiz four. Okay. Are you doing the two minute or the one minute? The three minutes, okay, the three minutes. Not only speed, but also accuracy, okay? Let's keep our schedules. Let me go and see. So the typingtest.com is not linked to Blackboard. That's a separate platform that is free. We don't pay for it. Us instructors are just used to using it because it's pretty good to test for speed. When you're done in the chat box, please put done. Done and then your words per minute um, scores in the chat box. Again, when done, put done, then next to the done, your scores. Robert, can you hear me? Try to catch up, typingtest.com. You look good. Omar, can you turn your camera on, please? Put your scores, please, in the chat box. <clears throat> I will have to record it manually because I don't want to mess up Miss Jaylene's grade book and I don't see it yet on her grade book.
Lawrence, I can see that you haven't submitted the homework that she gave, HIPAA violations worksheet. I don't know when it's due yet, but I can see a blank on here. I'll look at it later. Thanks. Okay. I can just see so I can remind you right now I'm in her grade book. Perfect. Scores coming in. Yeah, you put the words per minute and then the percent accuracy. <clears throat> Very good. These are good numbers. I'm writing it just in case Miss Jaylene wants to record it herself. I got Noah's, I got Jess's score, I got Raimi's score. Wow, Raimi, that's fast. Good job. Good job on the 100% accuracy as well. Those are good numbers. Ah, oh, that's why. Yeah. Well, when I was in high school, I chose bookkeeping for my elective and not typing because <laughs> I like numbers. That explains it. I got a series. Turn this over to Miss Jaylene, 34. Good job on the accuracy, guys. Kevin. 43. 100. Wow. Good job. Nicole. 46. 97. Good job. <clears throat> Everything's good. Okay. Lawrence. Some start off slow, but you have to remember as you practice, it gets better. Brandon. We had students who started off with like less than 20. And then by the time they finished, they're hitting the 35, 40. Okay. And then you also have to remember that our software, we don't type sentences. We don't type statements. Okay. So we type on boxes. And then some softwares use the tab to skip to the next box, but some softwares use enter to skip to the next box. So I have Noah, Jess, Ramey, Aziri, Kevin, Nicole, Lawrence, Brandon, correct? Did I miss anyone? So Robert and Omar waiting on you. I just, I, I'm supposed to reply to the thread, right? That's what I, to you. I put it in the thread. You did? Okay, so Tony, I'm gonna find yours. You did it in the discussion board plus here. Okay. I'm looking in the chat box. I'm not in the discussion board. So can you type it in the chat box too? Perfect. I'll put, I'll put mine in the chat. You did? Okay. Omar. Okay, I saw yours. Omar. Okay. Good job. And then Robert's, oh, that's discussion board. Okay, Robert. Okay. What was it? I'm not in the discussion board. So, Ramey, what was the change for you from last time? I think my change was like five or something words. Five, or, five, five words? That's a lot of change. That's a good change. Um, five up or five down? Five up. So, see how it... It gets better. Practice. Okay, what about you, Lawrence? What's the change for you? Absolutely get down. It came down? Okay. 
So I was hoping that it will improve from yesterday's lab, okay? But like what I said, this is different because this is typing paragraphs, okay? But this is the way to really check your speed. What about you, Tony? Improve or decrease, how many? Uh, from the last one, improve, but long before that, decrease. So I just, I just need to practice more, just, yeah. Decrease by one or two. That's common if it's like by one or two, yeah. Noah doesn't feel good. He's, he's decreased as well, okay? Noah, don't forget to put it in the discussion board because that's where Ms. Jalen will actually base her grades in, okay? What about you, Kevin? Up or down? Uh, I went down by two. Um, I did better the, uh, what was it, Monday? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but I haven't had my coffee, so I think that's part of, part of it too. <laughs> Go grab your coffee. But remember, one or two, that's very common. It depends on, one, your mood. Two, have you warmed up, okay? This is exactly the reason why on your first, the first hour of your shift, okay? So when you work, especially in a hospital, I always tell the students, since you're doing IV certification soon, right? Your first hour, you're sloppy. The first hour of your shift, okay? It's like the warm-up. Okay, you're sluggish, you're sloppy, because you just came from home. You might not have unloaded whatever you experienced from home, good or bad, right? Um, so when you do your IV certification, I always tell the student, do not request for IV certification and you just walked in the door. If you requested or scheduled for IV certification, say for example, at 10 o'clock, be at the campus at least 9 a.m. Why? If you ask me or Ms. Trisha or Ms. Jaylene to do your certification, the moment you stepped in and then you garbed, based on my 10 years, 99% of students fail without warm-up. Yeah? Because you're not, you didn't do that one practice. At least practice once, then say, I'm ready. Okay, don't ask your instructors to do your IV validation or certification the moment you just walked in. We're going back to the campus. So it's going to be eight till 12. Usually to, to, to not distract the class, we schedule you guys for your validation after class. Okay, and that allows us to let you practice on the side before the final. Okay, this is it. This is what we're going to grade. Okay, so remember that. Never ever ask for validation without warming up or practicing, okay? Yes, Tony. Say you were to be taking your validation and you were to like fail, what, what would happen then? Okay, remember in the orientation I explained this, you actually got three chances, okay? NPTA really officially only gives two chances. But what I told the instructors and what I've been doing in the past so many years, I give students three chances, but we only record two with the NPTA, okay? They only want you to take it twice. So what I do, I tell NPTA, I report the two because I consider the other one a practice if you fail the first one. But you have a maximum of three tries okay after the two i officially reported npta will close your account and you will have to pay 97 dollars for another one we've never had that happen except for once okay the students didn't reach out to us and the student failed remember you're passing for the npta every quiz is 70 percent so if you fail once, you're allowed to take it only a second time. If one of those nine quizzes, including the final, is below 70%, they will shut down your account and you will have to pay $97 out of pocket. So if you think that you had a hard time on one chapter, one test, that's why you got below 70, reach out to your instructors so you don't fail the second time. They only do two. That we don't have a control of. Your instructors cannot reopen it, okay? The instructors cannot change your grade. That is reported directly to NPTA, okay? 
and you're allowed to retake it. Okay? You can improve your grade, you can actually, but like what I said, in 10 years, I only had one who had to pay $97 because he didn't speak up that he, he actually failed the first one and he really struggled. And then he did it right away. So if you failed, less than 70% is the score that you got in any of those quizzes, okay? Reach out to us before you take your second try. Is that clear? Okay. Um, Brandon, how was your typing test? Went up, went down, stable? Uh, went down by three. Mm. Uh. So one, two, three. And like what I said, I started it right away. Let's do typing test. Okay. You see how it is, how I'm proving that your first hour, the first hour of your shift sucks usually. Okay. Because you're not yet focused. Okay. And then as you move in any job, you know, probably Brandon, when you work, when you're working at Ziri, when you're at your job, Nicole, your first hour, kind of like, yeah, just winging it. And then once you get the groove of it, then you're better. Brandon, you move a lot at your job, right? Yeah. Jess too, right? Jess, you move a lot. So the first hour, sometimes you can't pick up right away. And then after that first hour, you're on the go now. Okay. Um, Jess, how was your score? Typing test. Um, the accuracy actually went up, but the words per minute went down by one. That balances it out. But it's only one. I told you within one to three words per minute range is normal. It's common. And it also depends on the topic. If you like the topic, you know, it, the accuracy gets better and then the words get better because you know the topic. Okay, what about you, Aziri? Is that your mom would just put drink or food next to you? Yeah, Aww. my mom, she brought me breakfast. <laughs> Aww, I told my son, maybe until you're 40, I'm going to be doing the same. You guys are lucky. Yeah, and my dad brought me my coffee, so. Aww, you! I'm jealous. So spoiled. Okay, how was your score? Um, I stayed the same. Um, last time we took it, I was a little under from um, what I got. I think I got like 35, and then I, the last time we took it was like 31. But it's because I was, like you said, I was not feeling it that day. Yeah. Um, did you get to choose your topic, or was it a specific topic um, that Miss Jaylene assigns? I don't know how she does it. No, it's just the medical part of it, three minutes. Yeah. So one, two, three, change is normal, okay? But it balances it out if your accuracy gets better. What about you, Nicole? Uh, mine went up by one. Okay, cool. And then accuracy, 100%, good job. Okay, Robert, what about you? So um, I went up by 17. What? But, but, but let me get, well, Wait, hold on, okay. <clears throat> Up, I went up. I went up, but the reason the reason why is because, like you know how you're supposed to like have your fingers on the keyboard a certain way and type a certain way. The reason why like my scores have been low is because I type like that because I'm not used to that. The I it, the way I type is weird since I have like really long fingers they cramp up sometimes, <laughs> so I just use like my index and my middle finger. High five. Okay. Um. Wait, how do you call that? Two finger typer? I guess so. Yeah, but I type fast with those. Yeah? And I, yeah, and I've also been practicing. I'm just trying to get used to the proper way. Yeah, but Raimi, she went and did her typing class, so she uses all her fingers, correct? Yeah, the quick brown fox, is that what it is? <laughs> Jumped over the lazy dog? Is that, yeah? Oh, yeah, I remember that, but I didn't use that. Okay, so it varies. What about you, Omar? Interesting. Uh, it's been about the same. I think it went down like two this time. Okay, within the range. Like what I told you, 35 to 40 is the acceptable in the medical field. <clears throat> yeah, it's always fun when it's Robert's turn. He has some explanation. Like 17, what a jump. Um, I already told you guys, Noah's under the weather and... His went down. Well, somebody's sick. Of course, you don't expect that. I don't even know if 
he can. That's why I asked him, can you do this? Okay. So let's talk about your labs yesterday because your labs is computer apps. Okay. Ramy, what did you do at the lab yesterday? That because it's computer apps. Yeah. So it's quite a lot. So we kind of went from the beginning. We filled out um, a patient form as if we we're like in the doctor's like lobby office. So we had to put up patient information, emergency contact, um, insurance information, so that when we went into Sharp RX, we would know how to do billing. But we also had to create the prescription from scratch. And it was really comprehensive and meticulous, but it was really cool. So we kind of did it from beginning to end. And then we were able to use uh, micromedics to look up the drugs and the dosage. And like based off what was available in our pharmacy, we had to pick like four different drugs for four prescriptions. Um, we wrote those pres prescriptions and then had to put it into Sharp RX. Very good. What was your favorite part of yesterday's lab? My favorite part was actually going through uh, micromedics. Uh, kind of using. I believe it's macro, macromedics. Macromedics. And so that was really cool using the resources in Blackboard and then seeing how the different ailments have different dosages and different directions depending on what you're treating. Yeah. So now, because you, you mentioned last time, I remember you saying that you didn't have a lot of time inputting prescriptions because your lab last time was customer service. But this time it's comprehensive. And I told you, we don't have a final exam for computer apps based on our curriculum. However, we are expecting you to do a lot of this work, real pharmacy tech stuff. Okay, so Tony, what was your favorite part of the lab yesterday? Because I think Ramy gave us a breakdown of what you guys did. So mention what you didn't mention that you did and what is your favorite part of the lab? Um, I like the coming up with the patients and their names and all that, filling out the info. And I think I gave, Brandon got one of mine that I created. So I think I gave him real life training because I missed some info and he had to like, hey, what's this? Or you're missing this. So I think I prepared Brandon a little bit more. That oh, just, that's yeah. really good. So did you, did Miss Jalen or Miss Trisha give you mentor partners or already? Not yet. Okay. No, not yet. We're, we're going to do that once we're back. We're going to go back to the mentoring system once we're back. But of course, seniors, please help out our new students because this is their first time handling um, the software, using the software as well. What about you, Lauren, since you're pretty new yourself? Um, what was it that Ramy and Tony didn't mention yet that you did at the lab and what's your favorite part of the lab yesterday? It was like pretty hard for me for, you know, a starter. And yeah, so, yeah the RS tutorials maybe is going to be help for me. And um, did Mr. Sharp, Ms. Jalen give, give you RX, uh, Sharp RX tutorials? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, <laughs> Both Miss uh, Jaden and Miss Trisha. <laughs> yeah, you really have to do it to learn it. Yeah, both Miss Jaden and Miss Trisha said it, the tutorials aren't that good. You really have to do to learn it, and you have to do it all the time. And now that you're coming to the campus two times a week, even three, some of you come to the campus three times a week, right? Because you go on Friday as well. The more practice you get, okay. Disclaimer though, softwares vary per company, per pharmacy. We have Sharp RX, but that's not what everybody uses. It's going to be a different brand for Walgreens. It's going to be a different brand for CVS. It's going to be a different brand for the hospital. And you have to be able to adjust. Okay? That's why we practice you on the basics, the typing the encoding of the prescription. So even if you're put in a different software, you can adjust, okay? What are Ms. Jalen's homework? Word file, Excel, PowerPoint. You see that? Those are computer basics. And you did that in your career prep as well, okay? So if you know those basics, you can transition to any software, okay? I didn't realize until Ms. Jalen mentioned in the last Zoom, she said, what I noticed was those who are like under the millennials, they type real well because that was the era of computers. But the younger ones, I believe Robert is part of that. Robert, you're 18, right? 
Okay. Yes. So that's Gen Z, right? Gen Z. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know this until she mentioned it and then I realized she's right. Okay. Because you guys are part of the texting world now. So, so I said, yeah, I didn't realize that. So the group millennials, I really don't like grouping, grouping. I'm sandwiched as well. So I noticed you're right during this era, it's computer. That's why you guys are so good with computers. And then the younger generation now it's more phone and texting. Okay, so that was a good realization for me, or that was a good point for me. During my time, I don't know if you know DOS prompt. Okay, it was a black screen. This is how computer is. It's not a click, 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 click thing. We have to enter a colon and then the greater than sign and start typing. Our screens are black. And those um, letters are green that are pixelated. You imagine? Your computer won't start until you enter certain commands. So you got to memorize those commands. It's weird. And then come college, when I was in pharmacy school, that's when the Microsoft Office came about. Okay, so, but that was just the beginning of the computers. And then now for you guys, everything is user friendly. There's so many softwares to make your job fast. There's even Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Docs. Um, please don't be scared to reach out to us like Lawrence. He wanted a Microsoft Office, but he had a hard time. So we taught him another way to do it, which is your Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, which I love using more than the Microsoft Office now because you can access your files anywhere. Okay, so going back, Kevin, what about you? You've been at the lab. This is your fourth sequence. What's different this time? And what's your favorite this time? Uh, what's different this time? Um, well, we have more people in our class. That's a big one. Uh, so that's a lot <laughs> more fun. You know, have more people to interact with and then, you know, get to know more about them and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that, that was different was uh, the whole filling out the patient profiles and then getting to learn um, a little bit more about Sharp RX and like how to include like the insurance plan, the pay plan, uh, which was pretty easy. I, didn't, I, could, I was having a hard time trying to look for it, but then Ms. Jaylene helped me out and it's really easy. And um, uh, my favorite part, hmm, uh, I guess creating the patient profiles is probably my favorite part. It was really funny. Um, I made a few of them pretty nerdy, so I don't know if anyone got them. Uh, <laughs> I know Robert, I made one specifically for Robert. So, yeah, I had, I had to give him the one that was for him. Did you put a Xanax for him or uh, something oh, else? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made oh, it nerdy. Like, uh, I referenced, like, I was his Jedi master, like, from Star Wars. <laughs> and he was like my my uh my jedi knight under training and he's allergic to or we can say like we're sith lords like the evil guys and we're allergic to jedi yeah i told so. miss uh miss jaylene that you have a big class so we had classroom one reserved to be sure that everybody can be accommodated you have to remember we only have three student computers in our pharmacy so since miss jaylene is new we made the reservation for computer lab one, okay? And I think it's working now. All of those computers are working for a Sharp RX, but we still couldn't print, I think, compared to the classroom. And I know you guys don't make the prescription, right? You know that, right? We actually fill the prescription, but that's something fun that you can do so that you know the writing the prescription process. But I do know that you're aware that you're not to write the prescription, but it's something fun that you got to do. And I'm so happy that you guys did that, okay? So Ms. Jaylene's warming you up. She doesn't um, barrage you with questions like I do yet, not yet, not yet. She's making it fun for now, but she will, okay? Kevin, do you remember how we did it before in the other classes once it got to the checkoff part? Right now, she's, let, she's letting you play, play with the system, get comfortable with the system. But what's going to happen, Kevin, just so we have a heads up to the students? Uh, so eventually, uh, you guys are going to be doing like the actual like 
reading a prescript a prescription that was you know written by a doctor you're gonna have to decipher it and it's a bunch of scribbles most of them so that's gonna be kind of a challenge in its own right and then you're gonna research what the drug is it's uh do basically all the research how it is like you do for your drug words presentations um you're gonna be asked about like the patient like their uh, medical history drug history um, any interactions this drug could have based on this patient's age, et cetera, et cetera. So you got to know everything, uh, be ready for any sort of question and be able to answer it. And also be able to input it into Sharp RX and print out a, a label for it. So, yeah. yeah. Very good. This is application now. Okay. Once you get to that part right now, Ms. Jaylee and Ms. Trisha are getting you comfortable. Okay. And then there'll be a part where it, you'll be asked questions. So they haven't seen, the new students haven't seen actual prescriptions that we usually give, not yet. Tony, they haven't seen prescriptions yet, like we used to, the ones with scribbles, not no, yet. No, they haven't okay. seen that yet. I know, so that is cool. But don't be shocked, don't be surprised once you get that packet of prescriptions that has chicken scratch writings. It's gonna come. I think it's on your next lab, okay, which is tomorrow, okay? So Ms. Ms. Trisha was able to catch up yesterday. She was there actually on time yesterday um, and she was able to help out. So I told them to marry the labs, Ms. Jaylene and Ms. Trisha. So since it's a bigger group, you still didn't feel that, um, you're not given attention. I made sure that there are two instructors in there, okay? Brandon, what about you since you're new? What is it that they haven't mentioned yet that you did, if there's anything they missed? And what's your favorite part of the lab yesterday? Um, for the things that they missed, they pretty much covered everything. Yeah, but what's did. your favorite part? Um, probably just like the patient stuff, information, <laughs> Um, seeing everyone else's and yeah did you make something fun funny or um for any one of them um yeah like three of us did spongebob <laughs> so who's patrick <laughs> okay so that's still fun okay but you still feel like this is it i'm starting to feel like i'm a pharmacy tech you feel that way because you're playing with the software. Okay, your next lab, you will definitely feel that this is it because you're gonna be receiving prescriptions that are chicken scratch, okay? What about you, Jess? This is your second sequence. What's your favorite um, part of the lab? I found it interesting, like going into the, the micromedex, is that what mm -hmm. it is? Um, and like picking one of the illnesses and then going ahead and choosing one of the medications that we chose. So then we would have to like break it down and see how many um, pills would have to be given for this illness, I guess, or. Yeah, this is, that is in your e-library and that's another resource for your drugs, for your drug presentation. And it's during this time computer apps that we tell the students, hey, there's something in your computer in the Blackboard software that's in the library that you can use as well, which is the macro medics, okay? So just finds that interesting and very useful, not just the books, not just the website, okay? What about you, Adziri? What's your I favorite part? I didn't make it yesterday. I had to pick up my mom from the airport. Oh, you missed yesterday's, the whole thing? Oh, okay, so- I yeah, landed pretty late, so I had to go pick her up. You might want to arrange your schedule for fr this Friday, because we don't have a Monday, then we come back Tuesday, you go back to the lab. So arrange your schedule so that you can catch up and you don't get an incomplete for this class. Okay, cool. What about you, Nicole? Did you make it to lab? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite part of the lab yesterday? I think it was just pretty much entering it into Sharp RX. And the Sharp RX. Okay, um, I'm asking you guys this because I do believe that this is going to be the best um, class, the best group with a combination of labs from 
me, Miss Trisha, and Miss Jaylee. Okay, so this is going to be like more, I, I don't say content, but I'm marrying everything. Okay, and you're getting the best right now. Okay, so Robert, favorite part of yesterday's um, lab? You're definitely making the patience. Uh, yeah, we, I, we had three SpongeBob's, so I, I think that actually just lets us know that everyone in the class is uh, really smart. And <laughs> I, I just liked. So are you trying like, to say that Brandon, Kevin, and you are really smart? Uh, are you the three? Maybe not. Maybe not Kevin. I, I think Jess. It was me, oh, Brandon, Jess. and Jess. Oh, are you part I'm, of I'm that sorry, SpongeBob Kevin. Team. Oh yeah, I love SpongeBob. And uh, I think my favorite part too is when I was just filling out the prescriptions. That that was fun. I was getting through it fast it compared to like when we first started. But I was just sitting there and Kevin's like, hold on, let's exchange papers. And I said, okay. And he just hands me a paper. And the first thing I see is the patient name and says, Sir Boobert. Oh, that was that was pretty great. Oh, that and was I, cool. I just want to say if you guys are like struggling with the filling stuff out, don't worry, you'll get used to it. And like, you know, just ask anyone if you need help. Don't be afraid to ask. Yeah, very good. Okay. So I always say that don't be afraid to reach out. Sometimes you don't want to the to reach out to the instructor right away, which I've noticed. Okay. But there's your seniors, Tony, Kevin, Robert. Jess and Ziri and Nicole have been there a while. Reach out to them, have used the software. But if I'm going to point you to the right people, it's going to be Tony, Kevin, and Robert because they did labs right when they were still freshmen. Okay, so they're used to this now. So reach out to them. Um, or the three of you, you know how some people are. Maybe you put yourself out there, okay? So it helps you. Remember, teaching is a double-edged sword. As you teach, you learn too. Okay. So, um, Omar, you're the newest one. How would you like the labs? Uh, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, it was interesting getting to see like how how the different medications work for the same thing, and how you could take them like orally, or you could take them uh, through like IVs. Yeah. That's really cool. No way you can type in your answer in the chat box, how you like the lab, because you're also fairly new in the lab and in the software. I'm also asking this because now that there's a combination of contribution from Ms. Jaylene, from Ms. Trisha, from me, I'm picking the ones that, um, that you enjoyed. So I can tell moving on the next time we do this class again, you know, the students enjoy this part, so you have to keep this, even if that's not a thing the technicians do, but they had fun. It's always nice to have that icebreaker, okay? So who's with Kevin on the Star Wars part? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, you too? Yeah, Kevin made a prescription for you, said. So Noah, just put in your answer in there. Let's continue on with our lesson plan. Let's go back, okay. So now you're getting accustomed to Miss Jaylene's weekly style of announcement, but we still have to give you announcements every day, just as a reminder. Okay. Next one would be, <clears throat> let me see. Current events in pharmacy. Did you see that one that she posted? Current events in pharmacy for today. Okay, let's go to that folder right now. Course content. And then week two, Wednesday. And then current events in pharmacy. Did you see it's a document file? Once you click it, it downloads. Okay, open it. Okay. Have you done this? Yes or no? So I know, okay. Then it's now time to do it. Instructions. Let's do it. This is going to be our last activity. Then we go on break, OK? Search the internet for news articles relevant to the pharmacy realm that was written in 2020, OK? Actually, I'll change this to 2021, OK? Let's do current year, which means January until June, OK? It must be current. 
It must be written this year, 2021, okay? Use the blanks below to summarize what you've read. Be ready to present the article to the class, okay? What is the headline of your article? So any topic, pharmacy related, let's see if you know where to go to, okay? Good references, I use ASHP, the website of ASHP, the website of NPTA, okay? Pharmacy Times, those are good places, okay? I really don't like news channels very much, okay? However, this says anything in the pharmacy realm, okay? Must be current, 2021. So find an article on the internet right now, okay, pertaining to pharmacy. Maybe COVID, because that's a hot topic. The vaccine, that's a hot topic. Pfizer getting approved for certain age groups. Moderna, what happened to AstraZeneca? What happened to Johnson & Johnson? Those are examples of topics that are current. So find one article right now. Answer this one to 10 questions as you read the article or read the article, find the answers to this question, and then we'll go over um, your articles one by one, and that's the end of our computer apps. Okie dokes. Let's start presenting 10 minutes before 11, okay? Again, 10.50, we start presenting. You might want to put that in a Word file now because I looked at Ms. Jaylene's grade book. She will require you to submit this Word file. Okay. Okay, who's ready? Real quick. Docs file will be okay. So remember how you how when you click the current events in pharmacy downloaded, you can override that. 
Okay, you can overwrite that one. And then I saw it was in the grade sheets, in Miss Jaylene's grade sheets. So I'll have her decide when this is due, but I'm actually helping you right now to do this homework. Okay, let's start. Omar, what is the headline of your article? Guy lead submits new drug application for Lena Cavier for the treatment of HIV. Okay, good. Is the article controversial, yes or no? No. No. Does the article deal with questions of morality? It has something to do with ethics, morals, religion, yes or no? No. Do you believe that bias was written into this article, yes or no? No. No, okay. That's why I don't like um, news articles, news channels, okay? But like what I said, you can do that because these questions are in here, okay? Um, if no, why do you believe there is no bias? Uh, it just seems pretty factual. It seems like it's just given the, uh, like the history and like the test trials that they did. So it yeah. doesn't seem like there's really any opinion based in it. Very good. Okay. So the journals are best references for medical articles like this. So publication name, publication date? Uh, Pharmacy Times. And the publication date would be June 30th, 2021. Very good. Okay. So you have to paste your link here and then summarize the article in your own words, in your opinion, what makes this article newsworthy? And then what is one question you have after reading the article? Okay. So this is to be submitted. I saw this in the grade book. So I will let Miss Jalen decide when this is due. Okay, Ramey, your turn. What is the headline of your article? Um, finding an opportunity to advance pharmacy practice during pandemic. Oh, I love that. Is the article controversial, yes or no? No. No. Does the article deal with questions of morality, yes or no? No. Do you believe that bias was written into this article, yes or no? No. Why do you believe that there's no bias? Because it's kind of documenting how um, pharmacy workers were kind of in the front lines during the pandemic. Very good, okay. That's why some states approved their, uh, the State Board of Pharmacy, including the Nevada State Board of Pharmacy, approved pharmacy technicians to give immunizations. Okay, so we have that expanding role. It's such a nice time. I mean, it's sad with what's going on, but it's such a nice time for your careers to blossom. Okay, um, then you have to do the rest. Where'd you get this article from? Publication name and publication date. Pharmacy Times and the date is also June 30th, 2021. That's the most recent. So all of you guys are getting the June 2021. Good job. Paste the link, answer the rest of the questions, okay? I'm not gonna give you a due date. I don't wanna mess with Miss Jaylene's due dates. So I'll let you guys, I'll let Miss Jaylene decide on when this needs to be uploaded, but I saw an upload link, okay? Tony, your turn. What is the headline of your article? Uh, I still haven't found one yet. It, does it have to just pertain to pharmacy text and pharmacy? No, just pharmacy in general. So okay. it can be drugs, it can be the career, it can be, you want to pass and then I'll go back to you? Okay. Yes, Jess, I saw your hands. Jess, name of the article, I mean headline of your article. Um. We can't hear you, Jess. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's called fertility drugs do not increase breast cancer risk. Oh, wow. Is this, is this article controversial? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. It was controversial for a certain time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there was, of course, there's a group of doctors who believe this. And then there's another group of doctors who would fight that, that it's not true. Okay. Does the article deal with questions of morality? Uh, no. Okay, maybe I'd say religion, yes. Remember, specific relig religions don't believe in birth control and yeah. don't want that. So, but the question was stated like in the article. Yeah, the article itself, if you read it, yeah. and it's not that kind of topic, then your answer is, you said, 
No. Yeah. Right. Okay, good. Do you believe that bias was written into this article? No. No. Why is there no bias in your opinion? Um, in my opinion, just because they're just speaking of the science behind the medicine. Right. So it's factual. Yeah. It's not stirring anything. It's just giving information about fertility drugs. Good job. Publication name and date? Um, Pharmacy Times. And it was published June 21st. Wow. That's recent too. This year. 2021. Yeah. And then do the rest. Fill out this, um, fill out this form. Okay. okay. Do the rest. And let me see. And then submit based on Ms. Jaylene's instructions. Can you see? Am I sharing the right screen? Okay. Let's do this. Next one. Kevin. Headline. All right. Um, my article was uh, actually updated June 15th, but it was written on June 14th of 2021. Headline, uh, it's called, it's titled, Exciting Prizes Planned to Spur COVID Vaccinations. So this is all about Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, yeah. Basically, the article is about how if you're now, when they commenced the vaccinations to the 4th of July, you're automatically entered into what they say is a raffle, quote unquote, and you could be eligible for big prizes. And I had no idea this was going on, which is pretty neat, I guess. Um, what's the next question? Do is I feel controversial? controversial? Uh, hmm. That's a tough one because, you know, it's kind of like, depending on how your stance is on the whole COVID, you know, situation and regarding the vaccinations, you know, it's almost seems like a bribe for some people, but in others, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, like, it's something fun. So I, don't, I don't know where, so I guess you can maybe possibly say it's controversial. Very good point, okay? Because we have the pro-vaxxers and the anti-vaxxers. Anti-vaxxers. So. Okay, we're done now with the pro-vaxxers because we were ahead. We wanted to get the vaccine right away. Yep. So it's a tougher call right now because we're trying to invite people who are against vaccination, yes, right? Yep. This is not the first time it happened because I think last month, my friend told me there is a lottery for $1 million in Oregon for wow. those vaccinated. So like what he said, it's more like a bribe. So mm -hmm. people will actually go for vaccination so that they can get in this raffle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kevin, for us, who does the raffle? Is it the state? It's the governor's uh, project? It, it looks like it's part of the governor's plan in association with like, uh, <laughs> let me see what it says here. Um, the Nevada... Department of Health and Human Services. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh -huh. To be you, based on our stats, we are actually doing good in other states mm -hmm. when it comes to vaccination. Okay. A lot of states are so behind, but it, you can say that there's more pro vaxxers in our state than in other states. Mm -hmm. but we're down to the convincing the anti vaxxers. That's why this can be controversial, okay? Mm -hmm. Like what Kevin said, it may seem like a bribe, okay? Mm -hmm. Does the article deal with questions of morality, yes or no? Morality in terms of ethics, I, like I said, it's uh, it's kind of like in the perspective of each person, your stance on what's going on. Um, uh, it could be considered, like I said, a bribe, so uh, I, uh, <laughs> my, my, I guess it could be dealing with it, like if it, if it, you know. Very good. It is a tough question, depending on who's looking at it. Yep. Right. If a pro vaxxer is looking at it, there's no question of, mm -hmm. is that a bribe or what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If an anti vaxxer looks at it, that is right away saying there is a question of morality and bias in there. Okay. Yep. Do you believe we've already answered that question? Yep. So it's a tough call but publication name uh publication name so this is by the las vegas review journal um yep las vegas review journal what about the date they uh june 15th 2021 june 15th 2021 it's current mm -hmm. good job do the rest 
have it ready. So when Ms. Jalen says deadline to submit is this, you can just upload it. What about you, Robert? Give me uh, one second. Headline of your article. Uh, the headline is eating patterns could affect risk of heart disease mortality. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, is this article controversial? Yes or no? No. No. Does the article deal with questions of morality? Yes or no? No. Do you believe that bias was written into this article? Yes or no? No. Um, why do you think so? Uh, because it has a lot of facts and numbers and percentages and uh, good examples as well. Okay, so there are stats that are- Yeah, lots of, lots of stats. Studies, case studies. Yes. Very good. Okay, so publication name and date. Uh, Pharmacy Times, June 30th, 2021. Very good, okay. So have the rest done, so it's ready for uploading. What about you, Nicole? Headline of your article. Uh, it's expert published calls to action to prevent hospital acquired pneumonia. Okay, I just heard pneumonia, but is the article controversial? Yes or no? No, it isn't. Does the article deal with questions of morality? Yes or no? No, it doesn't. Um, do you believe that the article was written with bias? I don't think it was. Why? Why do you not think so? I don't think it was because it was pretty much just explaining like how you could prevent getting the uh, hospitalized pneumonia. Very good. But is it more scientific? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So that is the answer. It's more scientific. It's based on case studies. So that can be your answers. Okay. If you think there's no bias, depending on your reference. Publication name and date. Uh, it was Pharmacy Times and it was published June 29th, 2021. Very good. Okay. Next one. Brandon, you're ready. Do the rest so it's ready to upload. Brandon, headline of your article. Trends to transform in an evolving profession. Good. Is the article controversial? Yes or no? No. No. Does the article deal with questions of morality? No. No, do you believe that the that there's bias on this article? No. Um, why do you think so? Um, because it's not just coming from the author's thoughts and opinions on the topic. It's she's using like past information and data to follow up on her input on the topic. Very good. So there are stats. Yeah. There's statistics, there's numbers, there's statistics, there's history. Okay, very, very good. Okay, publication name and date? Uh, Drug Topics Journal on January 6th, 2021. That's pretty current, okay? Within the same year, okay? Good job. Do the rest so it's ready to upload. Again, the deadline, I'll let Ms. Jaylene um, decide on that one. Um, Aziri, you ready? Yeah, so mine is... Headline. Um, pharmacology treatment of migraine, current and emerging therapies. Wow, okay, that's really cool. Um, is the article controversial? No. No, uh, just the title alone, I can tell it's not, okay? But sometimes we don't know. Like, there's a surprise in the actual article. Does the article deal with questions of morality, yes or no? No. Do you believe that there was bias written into this article? No, I don't. Why? Um, because it's based on, um, like, therapies, trials, a lot of, like, scientific stuff, so. Yeah, a lot of studies. Very good. Okay, publication name and date. Um, so it's Pharmacy Times, June 29th, 2021. Okay. Um, who else? Back to you, Tony. Good job. Your articles are really, really good. Headline. You ready, Tony? Uh, actionable mutations in hematologic, hem hematologic malignancies. Sounds scientific right away, right off the bat. That sounds scientific to me, right? If you couldn't even pronounce certain words right away, that's scientific, right? Okay, is this article controversial? But it may be uh, controversial. You said no? No, it's not. Okay, does the article deal with questions of morality? No, it does not. Do you believe that there's bias written into this article? I don't believe there is. Yeah, why? 
Why do you think so? Because this is this it's just about um the how they how things have gotten better with um uh cancer uh what do you call it when you like uh diagnosing and uh detect detection yeah. and it's just more like a clinical trial article oh i don't know i don't believe it is so oh, but wait. you're saying it's more scientific okay cool um publication name and date the pharmacy times and june 29 2021 okay do the rest um yes. lawrence did i call you Not yet. But okay, so looking. it's your turn. <laughs> I'm looking okay on my article, though. <laughs> Headline of your article. I choose this quality initiative demonstrates the benefits of integrated pharmacy care model. Okay, cool. Is this article controversial? Uh, no. No, it sounds like a news to me what's going on in the pharmacy, right? Does the article deal with questions of morality? No. No. Do you believe that bias was written into the article? Yes or no? No, also. Okay. Um, why do you think so? Because uh, it says in only here that they are like uh, ex exemplifies their uh, patients billing and everything like that. Mm, okay. Yeah. They want it like to improve the quality of the patient care. Okay. Publication name and date. Uh, Pharmacy Times. And it was on June, June 10, 2021. Okay. Ramy, will you share what you're laughing at? You're giggling. I don't know because I'm not paying attention to the chat box. I don't know if there's something that you're reading. I'm laughing because so many of us did Pharmacy Times um, articles and we're giving them like free press because this is being recorded <laughs> oh, okay um next one noah i know you're still there however you have to do this have it ready okay and then we are going on a fit did i miss anyone did i miss anyone no no okay let's go on a 15 minute break kayla we're going on a 15 minute break and it's 1108, I'll count it as 1110. So that's about 17 minute break. Um, let's come back at 25, 1125. Okay, set your timers. I'll see you guys at 1125 for chemistry.